Hello crafters, this is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and today I'm going to talk about the Spellbinders Blooming Slimline die set that I picked up on scrapbook.com. Now I did a review on this die set which comes in four pieces and I had said that they give a nice example on the back here which is what sold me on buying the die. But um, I did get a question from a viewer, and thank you for your question. She wanted to see what I was saying when I said that it, it cuts everything open, and then you have to piece it back. So, and she was also curious about how I did this ink blending. Alrighty. So the die comes, like I said, it's all open. If you cut it like this, this die has options. This will only cut the flowers it won't cut this out and it won't cut out the edges so if you just drop this decorative intricate piece on a piece of paper and run it through your die cut machine this is what you're going to get so what would cut it to a card shape would be this die face down and the best way to do it is to sandwich it together like so put some purple tape Preferably the Amazon purple tape because you want it a little bit strong and the, the Amazon purple tape on this won't rip the paper because it's really not touching anything that is that's exposed here is going to be taken out anyway. Let me see. Let me keep it together nice and straight because I'm going to end up running this thing anyway, so I might as well do it from now. So put on a piece of purple tape like so using all my remnant purple tape. <laughs> I love this tape so much. Thank you again to that viewer who told me about it because it really is the tape that just keeps on giving. I mean, I've shown you this roll for a couple months now. It's still big. <laughs> I haven't used it. You know, I haven't used much of it. I use it all the time, but I haven't used much of it. And I also have the regular purple tape. So it'll cut out the image. Let me put it a piece on a, on a backing piece like so. So you see the pierced detail but the edges are not cut out. You see the middle here, but the middle is not cut out. This is the middle, this is the middle piece that you would layer on top if you want it. Even this is two separate pieces. So I could just cut a label or cut this out, cut into it and cut this section out or put this as a full strip or add this decorative detail in it. And then I get this. Now here's the difference between on a piece of, um, what is this, metallic, metallic paper. That's my Gemini Junior, this is my Sizzix. See what I'm talking about sometimes when you, when it kind of over embosses, you're even seeing the holes that you would poke it through, you're seeing those dots, that's not part of the die. <laughs> that's, it's supposed to be smooth. <laughs> if you want to back off your machine, back off the pressure of your Gemini for certain cuts, that's when I was saying on the Gemini Junior, use the magic mat from, from um, scrapbook.com. I will link that below too, but I've told you guys before in the past, if you watched another video where I said the magic mat on the Spellbinders Platinum 6 and the Gemini Junior will lessen the pressure. I haven't tried it with the Empress. The Empress I like to do with my Anna Griffin. I just keep her with Anna, period. <laughs> but... Here now, you see the dots and everything, see? And then, and then on my Big Shot, smooth. But now, at the same time, running a die like this through the Gemini Junior pops out in two seconds. Running a die like this through my Big Shot, it's a pain in the neck. So both of them has their, have their plus and minuses. It's always this. It's like Silhouette Cameo, Cricket maker still like this, you know, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and that's why a lot of crafters have both both machines because where one is strong in one 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 side, it's weak in another it's just yeah, it's the nature of nature of crafting sometimes, so let me show you now, okay, this is now with it with the two pieces, this cut now is with just 
these two pieces layered up, no center pieces in it. So that's what it'll look like, okay? Cute. And that's what you saw on this card, where everything is open. See, I can lay it up on top of it. <laughs> See, look at that, I can layer it right there. Because even, like I said, even the centers of the flowers, that pops out. And that's where I was using my, show you in a second, using this to fill in my um, KS Craft Jemmies. I was popping one of these colors to fill these up because if, if not, you're seeing the paper underneath. Now also with that, if your card base is white, like let's say this is my card base. Okay, let me show you here. Let's, let's do the underside of the card. And I put this here. That's it right there. If you want to add contrast, you're going to have to line it. And I'll tell you the measurements near the end, like that. That's how you're going to get, that's what I meant by this is three layers. I have the top cutting piece, which is this. Then I have this piece, which is that light purple. Then I backed it further, just to add a little contrast between here and the white. I put a little dark purple and then the white. That's how, that's what I said to you. This is like, you know, a, two layers of matting. It's just a lot of matting. But I just did it just to add contrast to the card. Alrighty, now let's get into, and this is one that you want to use, adhesive sheets. They come in very handy. It's not going to leave any gumming here. No, no gum gum, no none of that. There is one of the circles that wants to stay. I can pop that out. You can also put them back in if you want to. But this I think was cut with my Gemini. It feels like it was my Gemini. I can tell because of how it's embossing on it. <laughs> That is the Gemini Junior. I took my Gemini Junior out. And Alrighty, so now let's get into some ink blending to create this rainbow effect. Kind of like a rainbow effect. Alrighty, so I brought some of my Distress Oxides down. And let me put some. Now this is cut a little bit wider than what I need because just in case I make a mistake, see how it's wider all around? When you're ink blending, sometimes you just wanna have just a little bit of room to make a mistake. Okay, I can do it like so. All right, and this is that Strathmore Bristol Smooth Surface available at Hobby Lobby. Did I see this at Michael's? I think I saw it at Michael's. You can get 20% off at Michael's. Now we can't use a 40% off coupon anymore at um, Hobby Lobby, so oh well. Not 100% sure I saw this. I don't remember seeing this at my Joann, so I don't know if Joann's carries the smooth surface. They carry Bristol, but different types, like sketchy, sketch paper and all that for artists. Um, all right, now let's get started with the, where's my inks? And I kept my ink in this little container. This is a $4 container from Target. These are those stackable containers. You've seen my little, um, my little one that I use to make a memory decks. I also use it to, to sometimes store my, um, stamps. I'll also use the long thin ones for the cube distress ink. It's a whole set of these stackable things and they all stack into each other. This is in the bathroom section of Target. So this is their medium size. And then there's a tall one that I use too. And it folds well. So it keeps it nice and neat. And I'm going to go, let's see, I'm going to go purple, shaded lilac, tumbled glass. I'm, I don't even remember what colors these were. So I'm doing something different now. Kitsch Flamingo, Sponge Sugar, Shabby Shutters, and Speckled Egg. 
Now, it was Kathy Zelski. She has a YouTube channel. She did a nice combo of the Kitsch Flamingo with the speckled egg to make like a pretty purple when these two come together, like a nice purple. I'm gonna try it again. So I got my pink, I got my purple. Has this one been dedicated? That's my um, speckled egg. These are those little pink and main mini ergonomic blenders that I like for my hand when I'm ink blending. I also have one ergonomic honeybee blender. I'll link these below and also my Amazon ones, which I like too. All righty. So let's go with Kitsch Flamingo, the new, new color by Tim Holtz. Just load it up like so. And this silicone mat is a We Are Memory Keeper silicone mat. I got this mat at Joann's. Buy it on sale. <laughs> it becomes very attractive when it's on sale. I think it's $19 and then on sale it was like $11, but it, it can handle heat. And I love the, I like the blue color and it cleans well. And if something goes wrong with it, I can always get another one because it's available at Joann's, readily available. So I'll just, and what I did before was I just chose, you always wanna load up your brush, tap it off a little bit, and then come on in. Just pick some spots to kind of add color. And I may speed up this part. I'm not liking this color at all on this card. My um, speckled egg is not as exciting as I thought it was going to be. I don't know what other color I have on here. Maybe I have gray or something. I don't know what's happening. It's coming out so gray to me. All right. Let me change up. Do you notice this? That's the shaded lilac with the speckled egg. Turns this bluey gray color, then it turns more purpley up here. Plus, I think I have wilted violet left over in here. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I was over here in the corner. So I don't even think I'm using the green. This is going to be a pinky purpley card. Alrighty. So now I know it's looking like a hot mess. Don't worry, we're on the hot mess express. so bad hmm. it's actually not that bad the 
this one cover a bigger, bigger distance. Alrighty, so this is where I ended up stopping. I think this is good enough. You're only going to see snippets of it anyway. If you want to lighten this up, you can spritz it with water and then, you know, touch it with um, paper towel just to get the excess off. And, you know, that will, that will mute these colors a little bit more if you don't want it so vibrant. This, I think I use a different set of colors for this card. Hmm. What did I use? It looks like yellow, peacock feathers. Maybe that's worn, worn lipstick. And maybe this is seedless preserves. It's, it's a few different colors. This time I went a more pinky purpley with a little bit of blue with the speckled egg. Alrighty. And I just realized I had put some, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> look how good that purple tape works. All that crazy blending I was doing with all my pressure, it didn't even touch it, right? So you know that the dye has to fall in between here and here. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna also um, blend an area here for grass. Not grass, for the leaves. I'm gonna blend an area here for the leaves. Okay. This time I'm going to use, um, what was it? Shabby Shutters Honey Bee Stamps. Ergonomic Blender. And I'm just gonna do it the length of the card. I probably should have wiped up this surface first before I went in with the next one so I don't pick up any of what I did before. I just need something green down for the leaves. Alrighty, that's done. Put this up. I love these containers that, that keep it nice and clean and self-contained. Put it back. Do I wash them often? No. <laughs> I can wipe it on a microfiber cloth too. Some people don't wash it at all. Then one person, she said she put hers in the dishwasher. I haven't tried that, but to each their own. If you've, if you've bought a, a set of blending, blending brushes that are like crazy expensive, I probably wouldn't put them in the, in the dishwasher. If you didn't spend a lot of money on them, then you can give it a try. That, that was Kathy Zelski too. She said that she puts hers, hers in there. Alrighty, and then now this, this can either wipe off with a wet wipe or like so, or take it to your sink with some soap and water. That's why I like this mat so much. It's just easy, 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 easy. So far, knock on wood, it hasn't stained. I can't stand when my mat stain. <laughs> Alrighty. Now we're going to go into die cutting. As I'm down here, I'm going to use my trusty Empress Mini. Empress Mini by Anna Griffin. You can get this at AnnaGriffin.com or HSN. It's not sold in stores. Alrighty, let me see. Now this is not long enough, so I'm going to show you what happens if your plates are kind of short. Our magnet is already holding on to this thing with with dear life, but I, I know she cuts in cuts into her magnetic plate. I don't particularly like doing that because I want my magnetic plate to last forever and I don't need to keep buying a bunch of magnetic plates. <laughs> or a magnetic, yeah, yeah, it's a magnetic plate or a magnetic pad. Here we go again. See how it just shifts over, that purple tape? Love it. All righty. Now, when you're putting it in your die cut machine, try not to, if you can't avoid it, then you have to put it in straight. Best way to put it in, a little bit of an angle. The angle would take off the pressure off the die and the pressure off your machine. 
Seeing that this is narrow, I'm gonna cut off some of this so I can get to put it in at an angle. Treat yourself to a pair of Tim Hulse shears. They're, they're always good. And when they go on sale, Hobby Lobby, that's the best time to get it. Okay, so I'm going to put it like at an angle. That's, that's my cutting plate. See, my cutting plate is all messed up. This is the plate that doesn't get cut. See how nice and clean it is? If there is a cut in here, I accidentally used it <laughs> on the wrong side. All righty, let me run it through my Empress Mini. On this. I did not put adhesive on it, did I? Okay, it didn't even cut anyway. Look at that. It's so intricate. Now, I would shift it to cut the other half. It didn't cut all the way through, so I would use my um, metal shim. But I forgot to put adhesive on it anyway, so guess what? I want to do it now. I, I keep, of late, I've been forgetting to put the adhesive. I'm like, what is going on with me? Have I ever done this before? No. Am I doing it now? Yes. Because it didn't cut all the way through. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so, there's no rule of when you have to put the adhesive on. Now it's gonna have to work harder to cut through that layer. Uh, uh. Let me go about. See, I like to cut off only what I need. And try not to let the adhesive hang over because it will gunk up your, your plates and gunk up your machine too. It's just, it'll just get all sticky sticky, so I try not to do that. Sticker part down. There we go. There we go. Alrighty, then now, after it cuts, now I want to run the other half because this bottom half hasn't been cut yet. Just flip the die over, I only need that edge to run. I think I'm gonna run it in and then reverse it. Okay, there we go. Through the machine all the pieces didn't pop out sometimes that will happen that normally happens actually when you use an adhesive sheet everything will hold together which is a benefit when you're doing certain paper piecing it's nice to have everything stay in place but then now I have to clean it <laughs> where is my pokey tool there we go so not all the purple came out and now I just clean this up it's just an intricate dye I think the Gemini actually did did cut this more clean for me but I did have to use the the, the metal plate as well it's a lot of surface to cover with a lot of little tiny parts and pieces and veins and all this stuff happening okay sometimes if it won't poke all the way through just just lift it off and that will expose the um, sticker paper. All right, I'm gonna clean this dye up and then I'm gonna also run it again to get the leaves and I'll be right back. I had cut out the part that I had done in the green, so this could also be another card. I'm just getting the leaves out. See what I mean? Like if I wanted this to be filled in blue, I'd have to do a whole blue section. And what I did, I ran it through my big shot this time my big shot that I have down here with my original precision base plate, and it cut pretty well. This doesn't have any adhesive on it though, but it did cut really, really well. Anyway, all righty, so now I'm going to make the card base, and this is a piece of cardstock that's eight and a half inch wide by seven inches. Split down the middle at three and a half on the seven inch side. 
And that's my slimline card base. Now I have my card base, which is eight and a half inches long, three and a half inches wide. I'm going to use my Teflon bone folder and burnish it. So it gets a nice seal, nice, well, crisp edge. Let me not say seal. Now here at this point, we have options. So this is the piece that I had. I pulled out all the little bits. Forgot this little bit, but I pulled out all the bits and now, so that's what I had um, ink blend earlier. See how it looks different, ink blended? I mean, when it's, when it's die cut, it looks so much better now. Now this is at eight and a half by three and a half. So you see, I have quite a bit of space here. And this is what happened with this one. So what I did, I added a second matte layer. Now, if I just stuck this straight on here, see how it's just white behind it? Now I have a choice. And you have to cut whatever you're gonna put behind this piece a little bit smaller. So this measures the layering behind it around two and, call it a little bit under three. So two and 15 sixteenths of an inch or two and seven, two and seven eighths may be a little bit too small by, so a hair under three and a hair under eight. And then you just keep trimming it just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit until you get it to fit like, till you get it to fit like so. Where it covers up everything, but it's not fitting perfectly because if I fit it perfectly and I lay this down, you know, it's me laying it. By the time I start here, I may end up shifting the whole thing. So you want it to be like, kind of like this, that much around the edges. Now that's an option. Do I want this pink color? No, but you know, that's an option. Next up I have, which I think I'm gonna go with for contrast, black. And what you see here, that's just the adhesive sheet release paper. It pulls away. Next, also another choice I have is white. So along with my card base, I could do, you know, if, if I was gonna do white, then I'll just stick it straight here. But like this now, I could go like that. So I have options, okay? All right, let me, let me do it in black. My adhesive sheets, this, this time I'm using my um, Stamps of Life. I'm using the Stamps of Life adhesive sheets. Now that I've been playing with the both of them a lot, I, I find that the Sizzix is just much better. Both adhesive sheets don't stick immediately, so you will get a little bit of wiggle room in the beginning. Yeah, I don't know what's happening here. I have a batch that I bought from her and it doesn't usually do this. I don't know what this is. Yeah, she has some defective, defective sheets, unfortunately. Which is a shame. But um, I know I bought some on HSN and I also bought some from her website. She also has a, a nice line of um, Slimline dyes too. I must do a video on the stamps of life. Okay, I'm going to run just a little bit of adhesive runner right here. ATG gun. <clears throat> oh, today's like a sinus day. Excuse me for sounding so <clears throat> that way. All right, now I could stick it down like so, but I tend to have a tendency of like, you know, for me it's easier to go on it because I can see the edges. Now, if you have issues lining up something straight, this is just a little crafty tip. You don't have to stay seated, stand up. <laughs> just stand up. Stand up and stand, stand over it. Nothing wrong with standing and crafting. Sometimes, sometimes some of us craft better, you know, just standing. They have like, you know, you have like a countertop, counter height, instead of just always sitting. Quite fine. I have a little funky edge here. This is. This is from the um, not running it all at one time through the Empress Mini. That's why I don't like, yeah. That just further confirms that I like an extended plate. <laughs> the long cutting plate. And there we go. Now, 
I can just, you know, push down the pieces. Here's a little piece there. I can pick that out because now it's on the black. Now I can see what I didn't get with my old tool in one. They have a new tool in one too. No, I'm not going to get it because I like my craft pick. Just use my craft pick now to pick up all these little stragglers. And there we go. All right, now here, at this point, I could do the card plane like this one. Stick it on the base and I'm done. As a matter of fact, let's 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 put it on the card base. Always check your opening so you don't, you know, have the front. I mean, in this in this case it doesn't matter, but let's say I had this sentiment on. I wouldn't want it to be upside down on the closed side. You know what I mean? But I always check cuz I Knowing me, I always have a, it's like a Christmas tree. There's a good side in the front and then there's a weird bad side in the back. I put the bad side to the bottom. <laughs> ah, I know, I know. Okay. Hmm, do I want it purple? Or do I, yes, yeah, see? Yeah, I like the pink on the top. The pinky. So this is a pinky purpley combination. It I know it looked like a hot mess when I was ink ink blending. Now here I could add a second piece behind it if I wanted to, you know, like so, but I'm gonna just keep it wide. And I could also trim down the 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 um card itself, but here I'm just gonna center it on the eight and a half by three and a half. This is that busted side right there. Oh, that's driving me crazy. All right, push it down. And there we go. Now comes the fun of the piecing it back. So whatever you want to fill in, you have to piece in. So here now I can fill in my leaves. For, oh, okay. So, so I would just glue that in because I don't have any adhesive on this, but you see, is that type of deal. Pretty though, but it is that type of deal. And the, only, and the nice thing about this die at least, there isn't a, there isn't a, each shape is the same. So this and this here are exact same. So whether I stick it here or I stick it over here, these two pieces are the same. That's nice. So you don't have to be, you know, monitoring all your pieces, pieces like, you know, monitoring it to the point that you're gonna go crazy trying to figure is it the top leaf or is it the bottom leaf there just putting a little glue you know normally I would do the adhesive sheet I just ran the leaf and I just like okay I'll stick it in here but I would normally do this with an adhesive sheet because I really don't like the wet glue oozing a little bit <sighs> let's see this is one tool Sometimes it's nice when it stays either in the die or in the die cut. Now, let me show you the other pieces to do the flower, how I did it. Because that stayed together because I did put the adhesive sheet. Let me finish this up, though. So that's how you have to piece it back. Yeah. See now, running the glue like this, this just makes it even longer. Adhesive sheet, I just peel and stick, peel and stick. All right, so that's how you would do, do the leaf. Now, let me show you, I did the leaf. Like I said, if you wanted, technically, this is run in pink, a full set of pink. Yellow, a full set of yellow. That blue, or teal, that blue, that red. So this is one, two, three, four, five times to get the variation. No, thank you. <laughs> but if you're if you're giving it, you know, let's say you want to make this for Mother's Day. Mom is worth it. Yes, you will run it five, six times. Yes, you can do that. So now how, now here, that's the adhesive sheet on the back. That's my Sizzix adhesive sheet. Run through one time. Now, when you run this through, through, your, through the Gemini, it may punch everything out. In this instance, 
you don't want everything punched out because now I can see that right there. It doesn't matter whether I stick this here or, or down this corner because both of these are the same exact thing. They just, they just flipped it at a certain point, which I'm so thankful for. So now, sometimes the adhesive sheet will stay. This obviously cut through, but it didn't cut all the way that it popped everything out, which is nice. So that just makes the piecing it even quicker. And this is how I did it before. Yep. When you saw it with the, on this card, I cut the glitter. And the good thing about glitter, glitter holds on to that adhesive sheet. So it will come out like this. It's not gonna just pop out all the pieces because the machine has to work to cut glitter. And I just popped it down like so. Now I can use, you can get out your tweezers at this point. But you see how it see how it works? And if you're giving this to like your, you know, to a really special friend for birthday or something, yeah, yeah, it's worth the effort. Cuz it, it is it is pretty when you vary it up. I'm just doing the biggest pieces now so I don't kill you guys with boredom. <laughs> All right, let me let me finish off this section and I'll be right back a break from my paper piecing so this is pink yellow green leaves yellow now I'm going to go to pink now let me show you by using the adhesive sheets like so I'm going to show you my little trick of how to keep this keep your sanity in place alrighty so here you see I'm going to put so it doesn't matter I put this here and this would can be here but I could also use this flower for this same spot because both sides are equal as a matter of fact let's just let's just prove that point so i'm going to use my pokey tool and poke out in order the parts i want to use for the flower like so because in this i can see what the flower is but if all those little bits broke out oh no <laughs> I mean, you could also, you know, use strips of paper and cut just each section through the machine. That's, a, that's another option. And what I get is this. That's just a little straggler. Get this out the way. And let me show you what I mean. See? So that's, that's the flower. And that little piece I just took was that edge. So now we're going to come back over here. There we go. And now I'm going to paper piece. Oh, you know what? My AliExpress wax tool. There we go. There I go. And paper piece it in. I could use tweezers. When it comes to this little size right here, tweezer time. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, that's just, yeah. You, it looks ridiculous here, but you can see it down there. And I flip it over like so, just hold the tweezer. Always get yourself a nice pair of tweezers. Some people love, love these reverse tweezers. I can't stand it. So that's why it's down here. <laughs> I use just a regular straight tweezer. Let me use my poke. Let me show you what, what I'm doing. I'm doing die cut surgery. Use it just to lift it. Because sometimes, you know, when the, when the dye runs through the machine, everything compresses. Yes, then the adhesive sheet can compress into the die cut piece. And then I stick it like so. So that's that. Let's, let's go for another bigger, bigger piece so I'm not like... Let's go for this piece, which would be right there. So see, see the shape of the flower? I have pretty much every piece in order because I poked it out in order. So that's another little trick that you can do to keep your sanity. Because if you're making this card for somebody special, why not make it at least a little bit easy on yourself? Don't poke out all the pieces because you, you, this is going to be too confusing between these and all of this. Or you can do like what I did on the second card, which was just cut it out plain. Where did I? Okay, I just bumped my piece here. 
which is like this. That's just the shell <laughs> of, the, of the image. Now you see what I mean? And it's still pretty, you know, you put a nice sentiment right here and you're, and you're done. If you gotta make a quick card, that's the way to do it. But if you wanna, if you wanna, you know, sit and spend time, this is how you do, do that as well. So this, this gives you opportunity. And all these extra pieces, this that I have here, this is the yellow piece. Once I pick this all out or punch it all out, that's another cover I can use. I already have it ready to go because I have adhesive on it. This color, again, ready to go. Adhesive on it. Even my green one, ready to go. No, no adhesive. Yeah, so I probably wouldn't even use that because just for my sanity. <laughs> and if you run this through like a Xyron, it's gonna be, it's gonna have too many webs, webs of um, adhesive showing. So I just wanted to show you my little trick of how to paper piece that, all right? And I'm gonna finish this up. I'm gonna do yellow here, pink here, and then done, and maybe, maybe pop two more green and that's it. All righty, I'll be back. Okay, so this is taking me much longer than I thought. <laughs> I had cut this one with no adhesive and then a bunch of the leaf pieces, I can't find them. I must have scooped them up and threw them away. So I went ahead, took another sheet of Bristol, did the whole ink blending again, put adhesive sheet on the bat this time, ran it through one time on my big shot, and there are all my pieces. I can just pull what I need and then leave the rest. Alrighty, so now I'm back to fixing up my flower. So in this instance, if I just need a piece, I just pull it like so, take off the little backing, and pop it down. Yeah, this is definitely one of those things that, even if you don't like adhesive sheets, at least one, one pack <laughs> for certain projects like this. That's when it comes in super handy. Yeah. Alrighty, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. That was actually much quicker than I thought it would be. <laughs> I just pulled off a few pieces. The best time is when it like, when the adhesive stays. Uh, it's not happening now, but it happened a few pieces here where the adhesive stayed and I just peeled the piece like a sticker. Some of them you have to peel off the backing. But there goes the card. Alrighty, so now I have the option here of putting that piece in the middle. I only cut it here in, these, in the pink. So if I wanted, I wanna put this one, the one that's not all over embossed and overdone. I'm gonna put this one, the more smoother one, as opposed to the over embossed one, okay? You decide of how you want yours, yours to be. And then let me peel it off. So it would go right there. I guess that works if I want. Or I do have a happy birthday sentiment, which I made up. This is a die from AliExpress. Happy birthday, super cute. And come back down and there we are. And I would just pop it up here if I want. Let me see how this looks behind it. That can work. That actually looks pretty good. Alrighty, so Oh, let me also show you, I need to pop the jemmies on here. I do use the, let me go get it. So I'm back. Oh, let me finally finish up this card. <laughs> Time has flown by. I had dinner. I had a cup of tea because my stomach is hurting me. All kinds of drama. <laughs> anyway, this is the um, wax tool, wax pickup tool from AliExpress. And I'm going to put on the jemmies with distress collage medium i took a class with a workshop years ago with um tim holtz wonderful and he suggested using this to adhere certain things like um wet glue with the gem won't work but a hot glue gun for something this tiny is going to be a mess this holds and it holds it doesn't hold firm firm it holds with flex but it won't break off Distress Collage Medium. Love it. I will link it below as well. 
case you want to give it a try. I use it instead of using a hot glue gun. All right, let me see what color works with what I'm doing. So these are my AliExpress gems. I bought like, you know, I bought one set, got it, then I was like, okay, let me get two more. Then it went on sale, then I bought more. So now I have like almost every color. Uh, okay, that's not bad. So the white is actually turning purple. <laughs> let me let me try real purple. Let me see what happens with real purple. Yeah, I think the purple is too purple. Alrighty. And I think the white is turning purple. The iridescent is picking up. It's picking up way too much purple here. So I think I'm going to go yellow. I bought this little container that holds it at, um, I think this one is Walmart, but you can also buy it in the jewelry section of, it's a little container and it comes with these empty jars. That's, it's nice to keep these type of things in. The container, I think, yeah, I got this one from Walmart in the jewelry making section, so the craft section. And I got another one at Joann's in their jewelry section. So just look for a sale and pick up one. They, they're cool. They hold a lot of nice little small things and they hold it, you know, neat and clean. And you can always see it because it's all clear, clear acrylic. Okay, oh, that's way too much. Let me see. It's still turning. Oh, maybe, it's, maybe because I have the black underneath there. Okay, at this point, I'm just going for it. I'm <laughs> just like, oh. Just a little squeeze. It's a brand new bottle. There we go. Mm -hmm. And it dries clear. That one I probably, I put too much on that one. That wasn't a good example, was it? Then there. Yeah, it was nice having a workshop with Tim Holtz. I, if you can go to, you know, your local craft store, if you still have one, and they have like, you know, workshops, with, with um, guests coming in. I think things are starting to open up again, slowly, you know, and a lot of these um, designers, they like to host certain things. And Tim Hulse is a, is, a, is a great one. I have even met Anna Dabrowska, that's, that's Finna Bear. That was a fantastic workshop. Um, Frank Garcia, that was on a on a craft cruise. That's that's another fun thing, you know. While the ship is at sea, on the sea days, um, I was downstairs in the conference room, you know, like at a huge workshop crop with Frank Garcia from Prima even sure if he's still with with prima but that was really nice although there's no cruises going on now oh gosh i'd love to go on a cruise <laughs> oh my goodness yeah just to have the fresh air out there on the open sea oh anyway all righty so let me stick this thing down and i'm not touching any of my gems no there we go. I hope I'm, am I straight? See, it's another time. Okay, now look, I don't feel I'm straight, so the adhesive comes right back up. It, you burnish it, and then it takes takes a little bit to, um, what's the word I would say? Gel, harden. There. See how I'm burnishing it now with, with my finger? And even then, I can still peel it, but I'll let it set. That's the word I'm looking for. Oh, I didn't even need to put gems here because that goes over it, but you get the gist. So there you have my ink blended card, paper pieced. And like I said, if you don't wanna do this, and even if you do do this, I will have left to play with, and I can drop the outside edge around it to cut it. I can drop this edge on it, as long as I leave the clearance, I can drop this edge and then turn it into a card. I'll have this whole yellow piece popped out 
And I can also use this bit on another card. I can make um, yellow leaves if I want. There are options with this set. And here's a whole pink set. And I could just pop everything out and lay it down like how I did it here in white. Alrighty, so I hope this video was helpful in, um, in having you visualize what I was saying, how I made <laughs> this card. So here I did glitter, here I just didn't do glitter, but of course I still have glitter here in the sentiment, but I love it. I think I like the black actually, I like the contrast. Tell me what you think. Do you like the purple or do you like the black? Or maybe, you know, go even lighter colors. You can still do the ink blending and go more, you know, pastel. After you ink blend, if it's too bright, for example, I ink blended this. If it's too bright, this is the time to spray, spritz with water, wipe it off. Maybe, you know, um, uh, uh, flick some white paint or whatever medium you use to, to do your... Um, Oh my gosh, I can't think, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't, and I know when I'm editing, then it'll come to me. But <laughs> when you put the white dots all over it, I, I want to say flick paint, but that's, that's actually what I do. But there is different ways of doing it. Alrighty, guys. Okay, it's getting late, and I need to go. <laughs> Until the next video, crafters, stay crafty. Bye.